Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Richie with Horton's Outdoor Adventures. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to um, deflesh, well, skin out a deer head to make a European mount. Um, this is the first process of it. This is what you need to do to get the hide off. The tools you're going to need is a really sharp knife or I like to use these razor knives you can change the blades out when they get dull exacto or a scalpel to get down and around these antlers the base of the antlers and always fun and needed sawzall I find that a metal blade works better when you're cutting through bone but a wood blade does the trick too all right so without further ado let's get started so what you want to do is you want to come up right behind these ears and just kind of push down till you find the back of the skull and then you take your your razor blade and you come straight down the hide and then you'll see it open it up like a zipper now you can get all the way around here you can go all the way around just to open this up so it kind of flops it out of your way and then if the deer is really fresh it's fairly easy you, like I said a, a sharp knife makes it a lot easier um, and then you just work it up to the base to the top of the skull right down when you get to the top of the skull there's no meat there so you have to be careful you don't go through the hide and pierce the skull because you can you can gouge the heck out of the skull and if anybody knows you know if you look up European mounts it's just the skull that's on the wall so they have other ways of doing this too you could always just cut the antlers off and and mount it on a plastic skull but I don't think it's I don't think it looks as good um, so when you get up through this here past this you can see how I got some of that tore away there and you just keep working it little bit little bit you know take your time be very cautious because you are dealing with sharp blades so then you want to just hold tension on this on the hide and just come right down the faceplate of this of the deer head and then you just skin away and skin away and then this is where the tricky part comes in what I like to do is I like to hold one side and just cut straight back like so right to the base of the antler and then you'll see it it will start to as you kind of pull away and cut away it will start to flop around you see how it's starting to open that antler up there and then the same thing just a little bit little nicks here little nicks all the way all the way down and then you come down and then you come down in between the antler and the eye socket which now that's another tricky part be very careful some people grab your exacto or your scalpel and just kind of just try to work with it so you'll see the eye socket right here and then you take your your scalpel and you just come down right around the eye socket you want to cut all this away this is actually a decent fresh deer head it was in a guy's freezer so it's not that smelly but come on you know it is a dead animal so um, it does have a smell to it regardless um, so just keep working yourself down and around eventually you'll cut the hide apart away from that eye 
and you'll expose the eye and you just keep on coming around and then you can do the same thing on that side same thing take your sharp knife and go straight down to the antler don't worry about hitting the antlers I mean if you really gouge on them you can cut them but they're pretty resi you know resilient sometimes if you pull it you can actually pull it away So you got that face plate done. And you want to turn it around and you want to start working this the hide away from the back of the antler. Around the ears. I like to bend the ears forward and just cut down in there. Like I said, sometimes it takes patience. Fresh deer, they usually come off rather fast. Um, I've done rotten deer too. That is not pleasant. I mean, I got to gear up and get, you know, gas mask and everything else. But you know, these are people's trophies, man. You know, they want the stuff done and they want it pretty. So, and you're putting your name out there for it. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? This area is nice for the X-Acto knife. It lets you get up in there, and then boom, that just rips right down. And then take your sharp blade, and you just come right down the cheekbone, right down the neck, and just keep working that hide all the way off. Right down the jawbone. Same thing on both sides. So now we gotta flip them around. Do the same thing here. Grab the ear. Put that ear back. Again with the eye socket, you gotta go around it. Be careful not to gouge the skull. Okay, so you see this part right here? Like where it looks like fur, that's because I cut the hide. Okay, so you can you can fix that by taking your your exacto knife and just pulling away, pulling the hide away from the skull, and just get behind that point of that you messed up and just keep working it down until it's even with the other. See, and then boom, you're even again. So then you just start over and then move your Take your hide and just keep coming down. You'll have little pieces like this, but that will all come off when you when you decide to deflesh it. And I'll have another video um, showing that. This is just going to be a dehiding, just showing you how to get the head, the hide off the head, so you can soak it.
sometimes you can um, grab that hide around that antler and just pull with a pair of pliers and sometimes it will just come right off but it's tough I mean, if you guys know anything about deer they're tough animals man tough animals all right so we're down by the jawline so you want to keep working that hide all the way down all the way down Way down like that. And then boom. So and then basically you come down the back side of the neck, which is the windpipe. Cut that right out of there. Because you're not gonna use that. You just want to get the hide away from the out of the way. Once deer season comes, I'll start doing butchering videos too. Because all this right here, this is all wasted meat. You could cut this off and boom, that there's you could have a neck roast right there for a crock pot. I mean, obviously now this thing's been sitting in April in the freezer and Obviously, it's not too pleasant, but uh, when you pull these heads out and they're frozen, you get maybe maybe two days before they start smelling, especially in it depending on the weather. Right now, it's in the middle of June, and you know, eighty something degrees out. Um, if you're doing this with somebody for somebody, be careful of the antlers. Can you because you can break them? It's not highly likely that you would because they are, like I said, they are pretty strong. But just food for thought. And then you bring it right up the bottom jaw, right off. And that's your hide. Here's your hide off. Make sure we're still good here okay so what I like to do is I like to come right past this little hole here you see that little hole that's your ear canal so what I like to do is I like to come right past that with the neck cut that away just make a round cut all the way around the back of the head and then down the other side course underneath this is where the sawzall comes in so now you got your meat cut all the way back you want to take your sawzall put it right there in that line come straight down. Now if you were butchering, uh oh, you guys fell. That ain't good. We're gonna have to get you guys back here in a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> so what I was saying is if you were butchering your own deer, this right here, and it's a fresh deer, this would be a great neck roast you would clean some of this up take some of that fat off but we'll get that to that later all right so now you got it the hide off now it's time to remove the bottom jaw so what you want to do is is you want to pull that out as fast best as possible razor blade again run it straight back Cut all them muscles 
that's on the outside of that jaw line holding that jaw in and then same thing on this side right at that teeth line cut straight back and just cut all them muscles away pry it down sometimes you can pry it sometimes she'll fold right out there she goes all right this kind of looks like Beetlejuice. You ever seen the movie Beetlejuice? Oh yeah. If you got a, if you got a weak stomach, you might want not want to do this. All right. So once I get that, I like to just make easy work of it take your saw saws off. oh and if you can't do it it's closed like this and it's too hard for it's too hard for you to uh for you to pry open take your saws all blade come right down through here past the teeth and then let her eat well, there's the bottom jaw it's off. all right so that's the pretty much the basics for a to deflesh it or um, I mean dehide it. Sorry, we're gonna get into defleshing it later on. I'll make another video. So that's what it looks like. Um, what I like to do is I like to put it in water for uh, 72 hours. It really uh, removes kind of loosens the meat up, tenderizes the meat, gets the meat away from the skull. And uh, you know, I'll take you guys with me and we'll do that. So I got a little bucket over here. So what we'll do is we'll put that in that bucket of water there. I guess that's gonna be another video. Look at that thing. Leaking like a sieve. So what I this is what I do. You change your water out every uh, every eight to ten hours you'll change the water, let it soak. You know, you don't want it soaking in dirty water because all it's what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to pull all them oils and everything away from the bone. I might get a bigger bucket actually, or maybe just a pot. Probably just put it on a put it in a pot. Uh, this one. That's a little better, a little deeper. That way you can really get the water up over to the base of the antlers. That's really where you worried where you want it. So there you go. So you see how you uh, 
you see how that water level is above the base of the antlers there so that way all the meat is submerged that's what you're looking for so that's that's pretty much it um, we're gonna get this guy we're gonna get him put in the garage and get him tagged in and everything like that um, like I said this is part one of defleshing a white-tailed deer for a European mount um, once again the tools you need is a sawzall wood or metal blade razor blade and for detail a scalpel and that's pretty much it well i'll get back to you guys on the other vi next another video when i'm ready to uh deflesh it all the way and i'll tune back in thanks for watching horton's outdoor adventures take care